Guys, this came off of my old uh, Harbor Freight boat trailer, if you remember that thing. kept it saved it and it's gonna come in handy now because this thing's just all dry rotted and this one's basically it's brand new I don't need to buy a new one so uh, I'm guessing it follows the same pattern of green yellow brown white but this is all faded and whatnot but maybe it doesn't I don't know yes it does green yellow brown white so just keep that in mind if you ever get confused on the colors if yours is older and fading okay at the recommendation of several of you viewers i bought some weatherproof sealers here some connectors basically uh heat sealing heat shrinking so it keeps out the moisture there should be enough in here to do the rest of the trailer where you saw me connect it last year so uh, get all your leads and things done ahead of time that will save you a lot of trouble you don't want to get down and dirty. What the heck are you doing trying to be a fisherman? <laughs> you ever known people who go fishing and they're like, oh, I don't want to get my hands dirty. They want to get their hands dirty and stuff. And they don't like it because the fish stink or something. It's like, okay, get off my boat now. When you're doing any kind of electric work, get you some good crimps, man. Those little cheap crimps. Just stay away from them. Get you, get you some good crimps. Again, green, yellow, brown, white. Insert and crimp. Make sure it has a good hold and then crimp. That's good there. It's tight. And then for demonstration purposes, it's supposed to be heat shrinking, so um, really should do this with like an air, air, some sort of air. Or, I don't have all that, so. Now you have a watertight seal, supposedly. <laughs> this is all dad's work here. I'm not sure why he used these cheap, ugly things. Those things are horrible. Let's test the connection. Good connection. Leave it like that for now. And fellas, we are in the rain. <laughs> oh man, we're, it's raining. It is raining. Oh gosh. <laughs> 